Hey guys, this is Greek Blood here, and I'm going to try and make this tutorial as quick as I can. So uh, let's get to it. So uh, today I'm going to show you something in After Effects. I'm going to show you this effect. Hold on. Let's show you. It's a really nice effect. Uh, so we're going to start File, New, Project. So what you want to do is go and drag your clips that you're using into the actual thing. So I'm using this. Next Pro, sorry. So you're gonna drag that into there, and you're gonna drag your preloaded uh, MOV file, which is the preloaded uh, effect that you're gonna be using. And if you don't have one, you can either make one, or you can uh, download one at the link I'm gonna put in the description at detonationfilms.com. It's really, it's free, and it's really nice. This is called Plain Flaw. Maybe this seems to be in. There we go. So now you got all you need for your project, besides tools. So you can take your clip and drag it onto the timeline. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as I can. Find the moment where the fire you want the fire to actually come out of your hand or whatever you're doing. Mine is right there, so hold on. Right there. I don't know why that happened. It lagged on me. Right there. So there. You have it. So what you want to do now is once you got this. You're going to click and highlight on your timeline the first thing you have, your clip. Whoops. And now you're going to click Control D for duplicating. And then you're going to go up to the top one again, right here that's highlighted. We'll uh, right click, go up to blending mode, add. And it should be bright now. And if it's not, then do the same thing to the bottom one. And go up to pen tool, click it, and you're just going to highlight now around your hand and uh, it helped you a lot if you didn't move a lot during this movie because uh, it make it harder for you to do what we're about to do so basically now that you got this you're gonna highlight it click M and then something should pop up down here click the little arrow twice and then go down to um, expansion and drag it to 24 I'd say and then mask feather we'll put it up to 85 and it should look really nice it should look natural now like your hand is pulsing so now what you want to do is uh what do you want to do it well yeah so just go back to the frame so right there right there so now what you want to do is you're going to do the top one just on this is something i have to do hold on i gotta put it right on the frame now that you have your two clips i want you to uh shorten it to the actual part where your hand starts to pulse that way it looks like this that and now you can see wait a second that's just moving this is what we're going to work on now. Go exactly to the moment your hand there. So frame by frame using the page up and page down on your keyboard. And you're going to go to mask path, the little timer here. Click it and something should pop up there like a little diamond thing. Now, use your page up and page down button. Use page down for forward and page up for back. You're going to move and you then use your uh, arrow keys to adjust like this as you see I'm doing right now to adjust to where you want it to be and that and do page up and then it will automatically leave a mark there so keep on doing that and I'll skip forward so now that you've done that just go back to the beginning and make sure what you did worked there we go it looks alright you know and there that's good so go back to the exact frame that happened so now you want to just Close that up. Now that you got this effect, I want you to uh, highlight them all. Control Shift C, and then this will pop up. You just call it whatever you want. I'm too lazy, and it just makes it a lot neater. So now what you want to do is now that you have this effect, this uh, the main part. You're gonna go down to the tracker box you have here, and if you don't have that, because it doesn't really come already you have to go up to window and 
there's a bunch of check marks. Go down to tracker and click it. I mine's already clicked, so if I just click it. It should pop up there or somewhere else. So what you want to do now is click this. Make sure it's highlighted as usual. Go down to track motion. And you see this thing? Just drag it by clicking it and dragging it, and just find a point of high contrast or a point that's very different from every other part. So I ch I pick the top of my thumb. Make that small, make that large, and then go down back to the box where it says play, play, and analyze it, and just wait for a bit until you want it to stop. So I'm going to skip forward here and fast forward. So that's pretty good, because now it's starting to mess up. So just uh, go down here and click the pause button, and it should be ready. Now what you want to do is, don't touch anything, go up to layer, new, null object, just to pop up. Back to the tracker box. Because we like the tracker box. It's our friend. Go to edit target. Null 1. If it's not null 1, then just press this and go down to null 1. Okay. Now that you've done this, uh, go to uh, apply. Apply dimensions. X and Y. Always. Go okay. Go back to that. So now what you want to do is, this is where you drag on, hold on, find the exact point where you want the fire to come out, right there. So this is where you drag on the flames. I don't know what's going on here. There. And um, just drag it here on the timeline to the exact moment you want. Hold on. And uh, blending mode, go to blending, because it's going to be black. So go to blending mode, add. So you go right click, blending mode. Add. And just increase it. Don't adjust it yet. You don't have to. But it's going to look like that so far. So you're not ready yet. Don't adjust it because you'll be wasting your time. What you want to do is go to this part, this right here, where I'm highlighting. Right here. What you want to do is, you see the squiggly line that I'm highlighting right here? These things? Yeah. What you want to do is, you want to click and hold and then drag like that using the line I want you to click and drag and attach it to null 1 and then the box here that says n none usually says null 1 you're ready to go now this is where you adjust accordingly you know just put it above your hand you know that, that looks pretty good and uh look oh uh, I like it more coming out of the palm. The fingertips isn't that good. So anyways, click it and it should stay in the same spot. And uh, you know, just adjust it. If it's not good to you, keep on playing around with it until you get what you want. And let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, if you think you're done, then you're done. You can leave the, the tutorial. But if you feel that there's something more it needs, then this is what we're talking time for an extra effect so you're gonna highlight them all again do control shift c free comp 2 whatever and what you want to do is go to the exact moment that happens where the fire comes out i'd say right about there and um come down here right here here click transform and then position you know, figure out, click the timer here again, and um, what you want to do is move it up a bit, page down on your keyboard, and then move that the other direction, and page down again, that direction, page down, that direction. So basically what you're doing is moving the, the image up and down slowly, so it gives it more of a nice effect. So I'll just continue doing this for a while, you know, you know. It's a nice effect. It's not necessary, but you know, it looks really nice to the eye. It just it's, it just makes it look that much powerful, more powerful, you know. And uh, you can't do not do this unless you uh, made it a, a separate composition, because then it'll just mess everything up. Trust me. Uh, uh, uh. And there, that should be nice. Now what you want to do on the last one is just, you know, drag it back to the original spot. 
and do this. Now, what you want to do is view it. Watch. There we go. That looks really nice. You can do that for as long as you want. Since uh, I'm on a timeline limit here, I'm just going to do it that much, and that's basically your effect. So uh, here you go. So there you have it, and it's going to fade out eventually. So there you have it. That's the effect you want to do. So uh, thank you very much. I'm GreekBot. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It has been 11 minutes, a little shorter than my other tutorials. See you guys later. Peace.